الله الرحمن الرحيم وحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين يا رب العزة وعزمة وجبره وتقوة وملكوت إن شاء الله فاتي الله تي رسول ولا الأمر منكم that أنا عبد الكلاجيس الضعيف ومسكين وزار وجهل and but for the grace of Allah زبجال that we are still in existence and الحمد لله for those who want to make their tafakkur and their understanding. We talked before on this path is a path of ishq and love and the struggle of a servant is the fruits and the bounty for others. And the most important servant of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad When you take a path to love Allah and begin to understand that Allah is directing us, قُلِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُونَ اللَّهِ Tell them if they want my love فَاتَّبِعُونِي To follow you Ya Sayyidi Ya Rasul Kareem and that Allah يُحِبُّكُمُ اللَّهِ And if they, if they do that correctly Allah will love them as a means of coming towards Allah and then Allah guiding us that go to Muhammadun Rasulullah to perfect you like the protocol officer who will teach you, perfect you, raise you, guide you so that Allah look to you that you are something rushed. And that's when Nabi Musa asked Sayyidina Khidr, teach me from something that will perfect me. So that Allah will be more happy with me and this is a Prophet of Allah showing us that at any time we must always improve ourselves. Nobody can say, no I'm perfect. So this is a path of humility as a, as a result of this love and this ishq we came to this immense love of Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result of that love and wanting to connect and wanting our hearts to be connected then read the Holy Qur'an and anytime you read the Holy Qur'an with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad you make your connection the way that you've learned to make your muraqabah and your meditation, see yourself the Rosa Sharif and say, Ya Rasul Kareem, Ya Habib al Azim, this product of love that you struggled for, that you, you endure so much difficulty upon this earth, its product and what you've given to us is this Holy Qur'an. As Salaamu Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. That is the, the love of your your mission upon this earth. As soon as you read Qur'an with the meditation of Prophet immediately you are connecting and meditating to Sayyidina Muhammad You're hearing Allah's Divinely speech but from the inner reality of the prophetic soul because you're, you're, you're feeling that which He brought with love. So it means those whom are having a difficulty in their meditation, we're talking today, is that you have to read and, and do from what they brought for us. Where Prophet greatest accomplishment was to bring the Holy Qur'an upon this earth and pave the way for the Qur'an to be everywhere upon this earth and for everyone to know that there is a kitab and this is a book of Allah and those who truly want to open its reality, even if it's just one and two verses that you connect your heart 
and asking Allah please that allow us to connect our heart with the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Sayyidi Ya Rasulul Kareem, Ya Habib al Azim, from what you brought of your love and your ashq that open this light of Qur'an within my heart. And you read one, two, three verses and you strongly connect with that reality of Prophet Because somebody who struggled with all that love, all this enduring of difficulty upon the earth was to bring the message of Allah Makes Prophet immensely happy that you're asking to read the message of Allah So of course there's a unifying, there's a unifying action. That as soon as you pick up that which he loved and that which he struggled to bring the message of Allah then you have immense bond with that reality. So people whom are trying to meditate and contemplate at the same time trying to open the realities of Holy Qur'an is connect your heart. Connect your heart asking to be in the presence of Prophet and then Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and then read Ayat al kareem and the ayahs that you want to read with the state of meditation and that creates an immense bond, immense connection. And that's how the uloom and the knowledges of Prophet dress the heart of awliyaullah with all their meditation and their connection to their shaykhs. And that was an important aspect that we talked about in the previous months. And for those whom are emailing and asking about meditation and contemplation and the same the same understanding with the shaykhs. Those whom are trying to reach their connection with the shaykh, trying to meditate and feel the presence of the shaykh will take that which he loves, take that which he struggled to bring upon this earth. That Allah gave these awliya a secret within their heart and their life was to achieve that reality, bring that reality then make that reality to manifest upon this earth. And as a result that becomes a fountain that is ever flowing for them and those whom drink and nourish themselves from that fountain. Means as soon as they want to connect they make their madad, they make the process of their connection and they begin to read from his works and from his teaching. And just a few pages of that reading allows you to connect with the heart of the shaykh and you begin to hear him reading that to you. And that which he brought and struggled with his love and endured his difficulties is creating a bond between the writer and the reader and bringing them into that ocean of reality. That which you want to be from you have to enter into that reality. So it has an immense reality when the student begins to understand that when they read from the, the works and they connect their heart, they're entering into that bond, into that relationship and it makes their meditation so much more powerful. That just trying to meditate and the process of meditation, they may find that and may have a, a benefit in that and, and feel an ability to do that. Those who want to go deeper or want to even try to begin to feel that process is highly recommended than to read from their works. That as soon as you meditate and connect your heart then you begin to read from the teachings and that creates a very strong bond that you're taking from what they struggle to bring upon this earth and opening its reality. And that's also how you open the realities of their teachings. That you unify the heart and your heart becomes a, a vessel and a container for their realities that they begin to pour within the heart of the servant. So alhamdulillah many, many ways to achieve these realities and these blessings. We pray that Allah with good character that open for us from these oceans and these realities. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammadin Mustafa wa bi siri suratin. As Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs 
that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.